Yeah, we recently rebranded as Nexon, um, really because it was important to bring the existing brands of Tremor, Amobi, and Unruly uh, into a single team and ultimately service for our customers. And it was clear that you know, as we started to look at, you know, the the individual entities that what we were creating and have created was much bigger than, you know, any one of these on its own. So, um, you know, outside of um, ultimately the release of the brand, uh, what's really exciting is, you know, releasing our one unified platform as well. So, you know, from a technology perspective, what that means is really, you know, starting to get a lot closer to the industry's, you know, age old challenge of trying to manage media uh, holistically and and plan that holistically. And so, you know, what that means in terms of of our solution is is really having a unified interface um, and, and data space across the core technology. So, you know, advanced TV planning, our demand side platform, SSP, and, and, and ad server as well. And so, you know, this ultimately will help us bridge the gap between uh, the advertisers and publishers in a way that's uh, much more efficient and transparent. And I was hoping you could tell us a bit more about these trends we're seeing with uh, what what some people call supply chain optimization, where you have both the buy sell buy sides and the sell sides working to disintermediate uh, one another. So what's happening there, and why is it important? Yeah, I think um, you know as we see a lot of these trends with you know DSP and SSPs trying to kind of disintermediate one another in the in the value chain. Um, it's important to really start to focus on what is the role of technology, you know, in terms of the outcomes we're trying to achieve as an industry. And, you know, I think personally that can be distilled into three really simple things, which is one, you know, driving a positive experience for the consumer. Um, second, driving revenue for advertisers. And then lastly, you know, driving sales ultimately for publishers. And, you know, I think the challenge that we're seeing is as publisher content is distributed on more and more platforms and, we see more walled garden strategies emerging, you know, there's a lot of fragmentation. And so, you know, these types of things create real challenges in the overall experience for the viewing consumer. So, you know, annoying frequency and ad repetition. And, you know, ultimately we've got this, you know, really incredible opportunity and frankly responsibility to not mess this up again. Um, Cause for the first time, you know, we're seeing consumers agreeing to watch ads in exchange for free content and they're doing so at a much, you know, increased pace. And so, you know, if we take all of that and, and we, you know, go back to what we need to solve for it's, you know, sellers want to trust that their inventory is being sold effectively and buyers want to make sure that what they're buying is ultimately being delivered in an effective way to their consumers. And so, you know, we really believe at Nexon that you need technology on both sides, so both the buy side and the sell side to do that. And, you know, importantly, you're going to need technology that works in concert with one another. So, you know, having that unified platform really allows the buy side and sell side to, to solve for that. So, you know, again, creating that better viewing experience because you can ultimately look at how your audience is consuming content and, you know, managing things like frequency and controlling for waste um, secondly, getting better outcomes for advertisers, you know, through, you know, both a smart bidder, but also, also you know, a optimized supply strategy. Um, and then lastly, just, you know, making sure that we can continue to drive not just demand, but incremental demand for publishers and having the DSP, you know, really be that pathway to do that. Well, you've definitely got a lot going on now um, with the rebrand and everything else. So mm-hmm. uh, I was hoping, you know, just looking ahead. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, what kinds of technological innovation we can expect from Nexon, let's say, in the next year or so. Yeah. So, you know, one of the really big challenges that Nexon has been solving for, um, which, you know, ultimately has been a really big industry challenge, is, you know, delivering true dollar one planning across both linear and digital for both the buy side and sell side. So, you know, buyers are recognizing, obviously, that audiences are migrating, right? They're going from linear to more digital streaming content. And, you know, there's much larger need to start to bring data and also tech um, to determine how to maximize reach across those screens. So we actually launched um, this year what we call our cross-platform planning tool. So it's you know being tested right now in market with a few large broadcasters in the upfronts, um, which ultimately is helping them yield manage their video across both linear and digital supply. And so, 
you know, this type of planner enables advertisers ultimately to, you know, take cross screen video campaigns and, and optimize and, you know, really maximize how they're allocating across inventory, um, which just brings a much more advanced overall buying experience and then, you know, allows them to, to maximize media efficiency and reach. So, you know, I think it's incredibly important, especially, you know, not only with the trend in terms of, of you know, change in behavior, um, but also, you know, every single brand and organization is being asked, you know, do more with less this year. And so, you know, having a tool that is able to help determine in a smart way using data and tech, you know, to build these strategies is, is really um, helping them maximize, you know, what they're spending across video holistically. So, uh, we're really excited about, you know, being able to continue to solve for that. It's, like I said, a really big challenge. So it's something that we're going to continue to innovate and iterate on. So a lot more, you know, new features and solutions that we'll be able to support um, to get to, you know, truly what that optimal plan is and optimal um, experience for the consumer as, as we're building strategies cross-screen.